to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be more decluttering and organizing. I am really on a decluttering kick, especially with the new year. I just want to get everything in order. So today I really want to focus on decluttering the kitchen. I need to take everything out of the cabinets, the drawers, and just go through it and organize it. Before we get in, I want to thank Care Of for working with me on today's video. If you are not familiar with Care Of, they are personalized vitamins that get sent right to your door you can go on their website and take a short five minute quiz they ask you detailed questions like how you feel and things you want to work on and then they send you little packs of vitamins i love how these vitamins come they're already packaged out and portioned for you so you don't have five or ten vitamin bottles that you are trying to go through every morning and make sure that you take it's really easy to stay on track with these little packs um, like I said, they do come personalized, so you've got your name there. And then they also have like a fun fact or something inspirational there on the front. Take the quiz and then they'll send you the vitamins that they think you need. So you can keep what they recommend, but just keep in mind that you can also change up your packs at any time. For me, I struggle a lot with feeling tired, so I really needed something for energy. It doesn't matter, like I can sleep 8 hours, I can sleep 12 hours. I can sleep three hours. I feel the same. It doesn't matter. Every single day I feel the same. That's what some of my vitamins are geared towards. My energy level and then I also wanted to work on, you know, my immune. So they do come in this little dispenser box. You can put this in your kitchen or your bathroom, wherever you will remember to take your vitamins and you just grab a pack. So yeah, they sent me a whole list of all the vitamins that I have in my pack so you know what your vitamins are. If you guys are interested in Care of Vitamins and you would like 50% off of your first order, you can go to takecareof.com and enter code Kelly's Corner 50 and that'll get you 50% off your first order. Once again, for 50% off your first order, go to takecareof.com and enter code Kelly's Corner 50. Huge thank you to Care of for sponsoring this video. Tonight for dinner, I really wanted to throw something in the crock pot because I'm gonna be taking everything from the cabinets today. And I know I'm gonna have a huge mess in here and I just really don't want the hassle of trying to cook in it later because I really don't know how long this is gonna take me and I don't wanna chance it. So this is a really easy smothered pork chop recipe. So you just need a pack of boneless pork chops, a can of cream of mushroom, and a packet of Lipton onion soup mix. It's a really good comfort meal and I'll just mix the cream of mushroom with the onion soup mix and then to my crock pot I'm gonna put in my pork chops, season both sides with some salt and pepper and then I'm gonna spread that mixture over the top and let it cook on low for six hours. You can serve this with rice or mashed potatoes. You can eat it as is. We served it with mashed potatoes. It was really good so take my word it is one of the best pork chop recipes I've had. start in this cabinet here this is where we keep all of our pots and pans we've got our waffle maker here um, casserole dishes here on the bottom and just other randomness so I'm gonna start by taking everything out of this cabinet and then we will put it back nice and neat as you can see the lids really need some attention they're all just kind of shoved back there they used to be organized but they've kind of gotten jumbled it's cold.
So this is the after of this cabinet. I'm gonna show you guys at the end everything that we ended up getting rid of. So stay tuned because it was a lot of stuff. I'm moving on now to the cabinets above the stove. These were probably the worst ones as far as being dirty because they're right over the stove. So there was a lot of grease and grime buildup that took a little bit of extra scrubbing. And I'm thinking later I may go back and put down some liner I would have done that today, but I didn't have any on hand. So I'm thinking if I put the liner down, cleanup will be a lot easier in the future. By the way, I forgot to show you guys a before of these cabinets, but honestly, they weren't too terribly bad. I did more scrubbing and rearranging than anything. <laughs> One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad so this right here pretty disgusting i have no idea what this stuff is it was in our guest bathroom cabinet too and i can't for the life of me figure out what it is i was able to scrape it off with a razor blade but it did stain where it was at Like that, I could never resist it. 
Smiling like that, I could never resist it. Smiling like that, I can never resist it. So here's the after. Up at the top, I put things that we don't grab for as much. Got the old trusty crock pot from my OG days. Still works, and it was my Nana's, so we're just hanging on to it. And then, you know, just usual stuff. Cups, plates, bowls. Uh, we have a china set of my Nana's, and then just some cooking tools that we reach for often. We've got the grater, the chopper, some measuring cups, and then just some strainers and mixing bowls. So this kind of turned into a full kitchen deep clean. I couldn't just get the cabinets and leave the rest. The top of the fridge really needed a good wipe down and then I also decided to take everything off the counters and wipe those down as well. There was a lot falling out of the cabinets as I was wiping them out and I know that a lot of it landed on the counters. So. I just wanted to make sure that I wipe those and then later when I'm done I will vacuum as well. Literally cleaning the kitchen from top to bottom today. Someone help me catch my breath again. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible. Oh. How could we let love go? This cabinet I was really dreading. This is the Tupperware slash serving bowl cabinet. Once again, I'm gonna take everything out. We actually decluttered a lot from this cabinet and you'll see me rearrange and change my mind until I get it just right. But we have another cabinet that we have some food storage containers in. So I ended up moving some of these serving dishes to that cabinet and putting all of our food storage into this one. A lot of these serving bowls we just don't use that often and we have to work around them to get to our storage containers so it just made sense to do that. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works yeah you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a 
sun Just give me one more You leave me hanging begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go for it Cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again so give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in, so give me a sign. Okay, so here's everything that we ended up getting rid of or gonna get rid of. So we've got an egg tray here. We never use some other serving dishes there. We've got some Tupperware. This is like ice cube um, trays. I used to make raised baby food in these. They're all stacked together, so I can't pull one out, but um, I used to make her baby food in these, so I'll be donating those. We've got some old lunch containers, lunch boxes that the boys don't use anymore. Um, we've got some more Tupperware stuff here we just don't use. A lot of this is lunch containers. We've got some lids to some pots, some uh, old Christmas plates we don't use. This pot here um, and that basket, I don't know what that goes to, if it goes to this pot or what, but we've got some old cups. Uh, some cast iron skillets that just need some TLC. Got some old wine glasses, and this I think is a fryer. I'm not sure, but we're gonna be getting rid of that. We never use it. Yeah, we got rid of a pretty good head game. <laughs> we got rid of a pretty good chunk of stuff, I feel like. So, what I ended up doing down here in this cabinet, we used to keep some serving dishes and stuff that we don't really pull out a lot what i decided to do with this cabinet is just make it strictly like tupperware uh, lunch containers um, we do have some mixing bowls here we like to grab a lot um, some bowls there we like to use a lot so um, i just have tupperware and you know our mixing bowls in here and then i decided to move everything else that we don't grab for as much to the other cabinet I'll show you guys down here we used to have some of our lunch containers they were here and over there in the other cabinet but we just moved them all to one cabinet now and we put the dishes that we don't grab for as much down here um, so we've got like some platters and stuff that we'll pull out on special occasions and up here we keep trash bags tin foil parchment paper We've got some black trash bags back there, and then we keep all of our Ziploc bags and stuff here in this bin. So, yeah, it feels nice having all of that lunch stuff in one spot, and we don't really have to work around this stuff anymore trying to get to our Tupperware. <laughs> So the oven really isn't too bad. I try to stay on top of that, but there was a few specks of baked on grease I'm gonna scrape off. And then we also keep an oven liner in the bottom of the oven and they do wipe clean. It makes maintaining your oven super easy. So if you have a spill or anything, it just wipes right off.
I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm really happy with the amount of stuff that we decluttered from our home. It just makes your life so much simpler to let it go. Remember to get 50% off your first care of order. Go to takecareof.com and enter code Kelly's Corner 50. I hope to see your butterfly emoji in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, I like for you guys to leave a butterfly emoji in the comments to let me know that you made it this far. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.